Hi, in this video, Apostle Joshua Selman will be sharing with us on five truths that will set your life on fire and make you become untouchable in the spirit and against every spiritual oppression. Let your heart be opened and stay connected to this video production. God bless you. The reason why believers chicken out in the face of situations and circumstances, especially uncomfortable ones, is because their conviction is not standing upon solid knowledge. So if it looks like a breakthrough does not come, if it looks like you pray and it does not answer, we fold immediately. There is something that you know about God that gives you confidence even when it does not make sense. Welcome to Start Now Channel. We are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in God's presence. The Bible says in Psalm 119 verse 130, The entrance of thy word is that light. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's light. Five of the about ten bodies of spiritual information that can empower the saints. Please, I want you to really pay attention. There is no superstition as far as walking in dominion is concerned. No. God is not a magician. You are empowered by the light that you receive from within your spirit. And if you fail to contend by the labor of the word and of doctrine to enter this level of revelation, then it will just become a prophecy that will remain there in the realm of the spirit and never be made manifest in your life. Let me give it to us. Number one, the first foundational truth you must know to walk in dominion is that you must know God. I will give it to us very quickly daniel 11 and verse 32 you must know god the foundation for the believer's dominion is the knowledge of god the people that do know their god they shall be strong the students that do know their god the politicians that do know their god the men of god that do know their god that do know their god they shall be strong and they shall do exploits john 17 and verse 3 this is life eternal that they may know thee the only true god and jesus christ whom thou hast sent can i tell you ladies and gentlemen it takes time to know god it takes time to know god time invested in prayer time invested in fastings time invested in worship like we experienced earlier on I'm invested in the study of scripture there's no time to teach about knowing God we can spend all nights there but it's important that we contend to know God because the God you know is the God you reveal to your generation are we together your confidence is based on the knowledge of the God that you have it's important you know this David had an encounter with the God of the Bible when he stood before Goliath ordinarily the young teenager would have been threatened but he said you come to me with your spears and your bows but i come to you in a name i've had an encounter with god shadrach meshach and abednego as we read earlier on they had an encounter with god and they could stand to say oh king in this matter we are not careful god will deliver us but that even if he does not deliver us we have gone past the realm of doubt take us into the fire the reason why believers chicken out in the face of situations and circumstances, especially uncomfortable ones, is because their conviction is not standing upon solid knowledge. So if it looks like a breakthrough does not come, if it looks like you pray and it does not answer, we fold immediately. There is something that you know about God that gives you confidence even when it does not make sense. Abraham knew something about God that kept him for 25 years waiting. Are we learning now? You must know God. Number two, very quickly. The second foundational knowledge you must have if you want to walk in dominion is that you must know who you are in Christ. As basic as this is, this is the apostolic model that was handed over to the church. The believer's confidence and exploits in the kingdom, second only to the knowledge of God, you must know who you are in Christ. And Paul, it is at this point that Paul does such great justice 
to a sound biblical exegesis of who the believer has become on account of Christ Ephesians chapter 2 Ephesians chapter 3 he describes for us elaborately that transition that we are seated with Christ we are being raised up with Christ do you believe that far above he says principalities powers thrones dominions every name that is named not only in this world but in that which is to come is a fact you must believe there are two things you need to believe as far as your realities in christ is concerned number one is your oneness i have come into oneness it's called the doctrine of interpenetration is a mystery by which two entities become one this is the same mystery that is applied in marriage that two different entities born by different parents and because of a covenant agreement in the realm of the spirit they have become one so you may come from the west the east the south but that in christ you have become one and i like the way he says it in ephesians 6 and verse 10 he says finally brethren be strong in the lord amplified says draw your strength from your union with him that your strength is drawn from your union hallelujah be empowered through your union the consciousness that i'm one with christ that was what made men like john lake that their hands could take all kinds of germs and viruses and yet it did not affect them i tell you if the revelation of your oneness with christ happens to you you will be able to speak and you know that you are not just speaking as a man you are speaking not just under the authority of christ but you are one with christ hallelujah people get possessed with spirits and you hear them speak and you look at them and say no this is not you you the way you are behaving and you are right so when you become full of god many things about your life become altered you are a man but we vet the results and we see that these are a god class dimension of results you must know who you are in christ the second is your positional advantage you must know how you have been exalted it's a spiritual reality still connecting to point two know who you are in christ let me give us number three very quickly the third kind of knowledge foundationally that you must have if you want to walk in dominion is you must know your place in god's prophetic program hebrews 10 and verse 7 you must know your place you must know your place when you know that there is a place for me in god's prophetic program immediately the limitations that came from your background all the talk that you will not become anything oh i've come from a family where no one has risen it dies immediately because you know that you are an important component in god's prophetic blueprint hallelujah you will not have to wait for men to validate you and go through the burden of trying to secure the validation of men there is a place for you say there is a place for me let the devil hear there's a place for me absolutely only god knows many how many sounds of worship should come out of many people if they know in truth that there is a place for them only god knows how many prophetic words are locked up in the spirits and the bowels of men who have not yet recognized that there is a place for them say it again there is a place for me yes that is also true to the kingdom financier there is a kingdom project that is waiting for your giving to happen there is a prophet a nation is waiting for your prophecy to be transformed there is an esther the the entire race is waiting for you to manifest so that her man does not destroy them listen let me tell you this in passing every name you see in the bible is not just the name of believers that were used by god these names represent spiritual pathways that can produce a certain kind of believer so when you say abraham abraham is not just the name of a man abraham is also a description of a spiritual pathway that produces a certain kind of believer when you say esther esther is not just a woman who married a king no no esther is the name of a spiritual pathway one of the ways you know and verify that the holy ghost is training you is you must have a parallel of your training in scripture as you are growing you must evolve and become a name that is similar in scripture as you begin to walk with god later on you see that this formation is called esther 
the kind of consecration the kind of dealing why is god bringing this oil upon me does it mean that ahasuerus is coming that is esther in the making you verify your training whether it is by a familiar spirit or the spirit of god by finding a biblical parallel no matter how unique your dealing is you must find a parallel of it in scripture are we learning now say it again i have a place in god's program admire the joshua selmans admire the man of god admire the worshipers but not at the detriment of your confidence there is also a place for you did you hear what i'm saying celebrate all that you see and and those that god has lifted that includes your pastor and his wife but let me tell you the truth you have a role to play that joshua selman cannot play no matter how anointed i am there is that vacuum for you and i'm praying that someone who came here tonight you will rise up in the spirit of elijah and take your place so that we will not rob this generation of the dimension of god deposited within your spirit When I had the wonderful woman of God worshiping, I came in. All that was in my mind was, what if this lady rejected Jesus Christ and rejected his call? All the songs you hear today, what if Don Wen refused to be born again? What if Renhard Bunker rejected Jesus? Hundred million souls would have been lost because of one man's refusal. Only God knows how many people have been tied to this destiny looking at me vow that you will not fail say it again that i will not fail in the name of jesus christ let me give you number four so three you must know your place in god's program and in destiny are you ready for number four number four you must understand the mysteries and the principles of the kingdom you want to walk in dominion you must understand the mysteries and the principles of the kingdom the mysteries of the kingdom are the laws by which the realm of the spirit operates job chapter 38 and verse 33 please give us niv very quickly we have a few minutes i'll be speaking over our lives job 38 and 33 it says knowest thou the ordinances do you know the laws of the spirit he says and can you establish the dominion thereof KJV says, knowest thou the ordinances of heaven. But other versions like Amplified will say, do you know the laws of heaven? That means God's idea is that the dominion of the saints upon the earth will be based on the laws of the spirit that we know and we engage. You must know the mysteries of the kingdom. Matthew 13, 11, it has been given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom. Can I give you one final one and then we'll pray? The fifth kind of foundational knowledge you must know if you want to walk in dominion is that you must know your adversary, the devil. You cannot walk in dominion if you act as if it does not exist. We are not supposed to act as if it does not exist. We are supposed to be aware he is there and to know how to put him in place. John 10.10, 10, Jesus himself is speaking and said, the thief cometh not but for to steal to kill and to destroy he says but i am come that ye may have life is that in your bible and that you have it more abundantly he was apostle peter i believe in first peter chapter five or so he says be sober be vigilant for your adversary the devil he says like a roaring lion verse eight walketh about seeking whom he may devour many believers do not know the devil Many believers do not understand the operation of darkness. And so we become victims through ignorance. They know not, he says, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness and all the foundations of the earth are out of course. He says, I have said, ye are gods and all of you are children of the most high. He says, but ye shall die like mere men and fall like one of the princes. Five. You have these five bodies of spiritual truth. And it's enough to set you on fire the knowledge of god the knowledge of who you are in christ are we together now the knowledge of your place in prophecy and destiny the knowledge of the mysteries of the kingdom and then the knowledge of the realm of the spirit
we believe you are blessed by the message you just watched. Let us know what stood out to you in the comment section. You can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos. So more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages. We celebrate you and see you in our next video. Thank you.